Hello there. I'd like to go over some best practices with uh, installing a Solar Edge system. In particular, the wires here are nice sweeping curves, no sharp kinks in the wire. As always, the inverter is considered a load from the AC disconnect and then the wires go into the top of the production meter because the production meter has to measure energy coming from the top down. And then from the bottom, we're going to our backfed breaker here. Uh, two pole 40, I had to make room by using a quad breaker. And above, you'll notice this breaker handle tie here because this is a multi-wire branch circuit and I had to steal a breaker tie off another breaker and put it in there for that multi-wire branch circuit. Uh, also, this does not appear to have a ground rod. This is the cold water bond, so I'm going to have to pound another ground rod for this service. And uh, got my two strings coming down from the roof here. You can see I just bent a kick onto my pipe into an LB, or actually an LR. And you can see I went into the back of my inverter from my AC disconnect with a 3 inch rigid nipple and a, another LR, LL. All my raceways are bonded, except this, my hub bonds this chase nipple, and this Myers hub bonds this chase nipple. So I didn't need ground bushings here or here, except in picky jurisdictions such as Denver. They might want a bond bushing anyway. Uh, if you have any questions, email me, degeacog at gmail.com. Have a nice day.